Well, we're outside with the Super B. You know, first time this car's been outside in uh, the couple years that we had it, and it was sitting indoors for 10 years prior to that. So definitely a little bit new as far as uh, first time kind of seeing it out in the light very closely. So what we've done today is I've gone through, I've power washed the whole car for the most part. Uh, I still have more stuff to do. And aside from the quarter panel, which we already covered, um, wet sanded, me and my dad wet sanded the whole car pretty much, as far as what's here, uh, not the fenders and stuff. We don't have those out here, obviously. Um, but we wet sanded all of that at 1500 grit. So everything's kind of knocked down and thinned out as far as any kind of roughness. Um, so... Tomorrow, I'm going to wet sand 2,000, probably 2,500, or for sure 2,000 and 2,500, and then go over it with uh, some compound and see what we can do to bring the paint around. Um, one thing we kind of dug into is this this whole area here, this is all that original B5 blue. It was not like this before. Uh, there was a lot of the B7 blue repaint, so... Um, we actually sanded through a lot of that. Found a couple spots on the car where when they went to repaint it, looks like they tried to fill a couple of dings. Right there and right there. Not too worried about that overall, um, but we'll see, we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, and we're not gonna be wet sanding the whole thing down to B5 blue or anything, but Jeff, just kind of going over spots, wanna kind of emphasize the original color in some spots because it, it is a great color. Um, it's actually a little bit wet here, you guys. This is very indirect sunlight, but you can you can see the color. The sun's going down, or else it would really kind of pop. Um, got a real nice metallic to it, as well as the B7 blue that they repainted as a really nice metallic as well. Interior. Um, gonna go through, wash this out probably a little better than it is, but I'm not too worried about it. Gonna go through and vacuum it out, as you can see. The condition of the floors they're amazing so not worried about that i do have to pull the headliner down uh, i did not do that today i actually forgot to do that i don't know how i forgot but i did um you know every, every once in a while you just get ahead of yourself and you're like go 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 and you're like oh wait forgot to do that so oh well uh we'll do it tomorrow i got the pressure washer here for tomorrow as well so we'll see how everything goes there uh the engine bay the engine bay has some mixed results, and if we had more time between now and when the car has to be on the road, and if if I was just if I was better prepared and if we had more time, I would strip the engine bay completely and paint it B5 blue like it's supposed to be. I really would like to do that. There was a lot of black in the engine bay, and there still is some. You can see like some of there's there's black spray paint. Um, a lot of that came off with the pressure washer, and then another little trick you can do, and it is a little risky because you do risk uh, damaging the paint underneath as well. But we kind of sprayed the engine bay down with some brake parts cleaner, and then pressure washed it, and it kind of bubbled up that black spray paint and really got that pretty much a lot of it gone. You know, it needs touch up. Um, this is the original B5 Blue inner fender. Here's a better example of some of that black spray paint. I got to get that tomorrow. But over there, it looks like it was almost repainted the the darker blue with the rest of the car. It's hard to tell. It definitely has been repainted on that side a little bit. But uh, I don't know. We'll see how everything goes. The big surprise is I think this car was on fire at one point. Um, I didn't really know what the heck I was looking at for a minute. And then my dad... It was like, uh, looks like that was on fire. Yeah, I think it was. Because you can see it's black and burnt, obviously. And they're around, you can see where it kind of heat soaked into the paint. So that's unfortunate. That's another reason I really would like to repaint the engine bay, but we just don't, we just don't have the time. And in order to do that, you gotta pull all the brake situation apart. You gotta pull the, um power steering pump the bunch of stuff off the firewall the brake line you know i know it's close 
to being, you know, able to do that, but we're, we just we just don't have the time right now. If we did, I wouldn't even think twice. I would blast the engine compartment and um, paint it because then the engine transmission go in and you never have to think about it again. But we're going to leave it like it is. Obviously, we're going to try to shine it up any way we can, but we're going to leave it at least mostly like it is. Um, K member was all really greasy here. I used some uh, purple power and the pressure washer and scraped some stuff off. Uh, there's still a bit left and I need to go over it more, but uh, it definitely, definitely looks way, way better. Um, but I really want to get as much of that grease off as possible. So when I, when I, uh, spray the K member black, the paint doesn't just fall off where it was greasy, you know, I would really hate to see that. But anyways, like I said, you can probably see from the dull appearance, um, everything was gone over with 1500 grit, not the engine bay, but the, the roof of the car, the doors, this quarter, the trunk lid, the trunk lid's still wet a little bit. I actually just sprayed that. Uh, tail panel. So we'll see how everything goes. Um, like I say, I'm going to do 2,000 and 2,500 and then get uh, get it, get some compound on a buffer and see how it comes out. You know, like this is kind of dirty because it's got water spots, but you can see the reflection of the ground off of off of that quarter panel and that's what we did was 1500 2000 2500 and then ultimate uh mcguire's ultimate compound on a uh eight inch foam buffer so i like to get a wool pad because that would probably do a little bit better even but i don't know i'm not super super experienced when it comes to the paint correction side of this but i don't know i think it definitely looks cool um Another little thing, it's got uh, chrome turned down exhaust tips on it that I forgot that part of the exhaust is actually still on the car. And one part I can't wait to put on the car is that little Super B emblem for the trunk. It just, it's just that little detail that sets off the whole the whole car because if it's not there you got a couple holes and it just is like oh, something's missing so anyways just a little detail i think is pretty cool this is actually an nos uh super b emblem i just got from a from a friend of mine so but anyways that's kind of what we got going on here um wheels and tires want to talk about that quick i've had a surprising amount of people ask me you know what what what's a wheel and tire size on that i want to know because i want to do something similar on my car um 15 by 8 inch wheel 275 60 15 tire and i think it looks okay but i don't like it at the same time because i think the tire could be an inch taller it really i mean look at clearance wise clearance to the quarter there and clearance to the front of the quarter there it could really be probably two inches taller um, but with the 391 gears, probably going to be staying with this kind of tire or at least something very similar, but that's our other issue right there is it's as far as the depth, it's real close to the leaf spring. It's sitting a good distance and it's perfectly fine and perfectly safe, but it really kind of as the wheel and tire set in, um, I think we have another set of chrome magnums and maybe they're an offset that would actually pull the tire out about an inch, but I don't know. Regardless, not a really big detail. We'll see what happens there. But yeah, anyways, just want to give an update on what we did today and I'll see you guys in the next one.